imagine we are coming from round track racing. We, we pretty much know the racetracks, we know the surface, we know the racing format, we know the competitors. A lot of time is, is spent in the simulators trying to prepare as good as possible. The car, to me, for us being developers, it's, it's almost like you know, a pirate's treasure. You open it up and you don't really know what to expect. Before we even thought about the car, um, we at Autosport Racing asked ourselves the question, how could the future powertrain look like? And uh, this is why we came up with, with what we call the energy converter concept, which is scalable and really adapts to every use case in racing. <laughs> the car has an electronic drive unit on each axle. They are identical and they are not mechanically linked. There is, let's say, a mid-differential, which is simulated per software. The energy for the e-drives comes either from the high-voltage battery or the energy converter. The energy for the battery comes from, you know, brake recuperation or the energy converter. And the energy converter itself consists of, of a four-cylinder turbocharged engine, which we de developed for DTM, and that is directly linked to a generator. And that generator, by the way, is also a drive system from the Formula E. So actually, there are three in the car. And all those components, very complex, are obviously, you know, com controlled and linked with the vehicle control unit, the VCU we have in the car. The E-Drive were developed for Formula E. So they are state-of-the-art, highly efficient, system efficiency greater 97%. We did uh, a few adaptions on the cooling side, a few adaptions on how the system is integrated in the car, some changes on the internals, but only for robustness reasons. And yeah, of course the software, we always work on the software. Thinking about the car, the jumps, digging into the sand, hitting stuff, stones, holes, etc. I think all components will be stressed extremely. You have hot days, cool nights, you have high altitude. The energy management has to deal with all those situations which can't be un you know, foreseen. And I think that will be one of the biggest challenges in the whole project. When you look at the car, just by looking at it, you'll see Vorsprung durch Technik.